In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can input a segmentation mask and then overlay it on top of the MRI and then visualize it. Other than that, we are also going to see how we can visualize it in 3D form. Uh, so for that, we first need a sample. For this example, I've taken the Brad's data set. I'll add the link to the Brad's data set in the description below. So first thing first, we need to add the data, right? So to add the data, simply click on this add data button. From here, you can choose an entire folder or choose specific file, however you like. I am simply going to click on this choose directory uh, option and then I'm going to navigate to my folder where I have the Brad sample. For simplicity, I have added only one sample. Here you can see for one patient, I have these five different files. I'm going to be adding all of them. Once I'm done with this uh, step, as you can see, this shows three different modalities for the same patient which is T1 flare and T1CE and this seg is the segmentation mask or the labeling of the tumor region. So I'm simply uh, going to click on this. Uh, firstly, I'm going to click on the show option uh, button and then I'm going to uncheck the single file option. This will make sure that the entire volume is loaded, right? Next, we are simply going to, I'm sorry, next we are simply going to click OK. This will load our MRI. As you can see, it has loaded the MRI entirely along with the segmentation mask. Now, first thing first, before moving on to the view controller option, I first want to see how the MRI looks like in 3D form, right? So I'm simply going to click on this drop down menu and going to select volume rendering option. Here I have already uh, pre-selected this uh, T1 uh, option. You can also choose any modality you like. Once you're satisfied with it, you can also select from presets. This basically allows you to select how your MRI will look like. I want it to look something like this. And simply click on this I button and it would provide me with a 3D volume. To center align it, I'm going to click on this button and it has now centrally align my brain region, right? Once I'm satisfied with the 3D version of my brain, I am now going to go with uh, to the view controller option and then click on this ring button. This allows me to link slices so that all the operations that I perform are synchronized, right? I'm simply going to click on this uh, ring button. Next, I'm going to click on this drop down, and here you can choose uh, from either of the two modalities that you have, you can maximum go with only two modalities. You cannot select more than that. So I'm going to be keeping T1 and in the other modality, I want to keep flare. So, okay, so as you can see, when I scroll it through, if I go all the way down, I can see the T1CE MRI. And if I go all the way up, I can see the flare MRI. For visualization purposes, now for now, I'm going to uncheck this. Now, as you can see, we do not have any tumor mask. When you load multiple MRIs, for example, you will have the option from this drop down where you can select the segmentation mask based on the MRI you are working with. Here, as you can see, I am working with a patient 00005. So that's why I'm, I have selected the segmentation. When you are working with multiple patients, you have to make sure that the tumor mask that you are using is of the same patient. And to make sure, you can go through the file name and see if the name matches with the other modalities. So... After we are done with this step, we are simply going to click on this I button. This I button will provide us with the tumor mask overlaid, as you can see something like this. Another cool option that this tool provides us with is to visualize only the boundaries. This becomes very useful in some cases where you are only concerned with the boundary of the tumor and not concerned with the actual filling. This makes sure that the tumor boundaries are not mixed up or are not mixing with the other boundaries. It becomes very handy when you are performing certain specific tasks, right? So if we click on this, as you can see this option, which is toggle between uh, showing label map volume and going to simply click on it. And as you can see, it provides me with the boundary regions that look something like this it shows me the boundaries of three different um, tumor regions right so before we move on i wanted to quickly address another point so for example as you can see in this bottom left area you have this window right it shows us with different information right now it's not showing me any information because it provides uh, the data related to the mri uh, on runtime when we are hovering our mouse over the mri itself okay so to show you for example when i take my cursor over here as you can see you you have started to see uh, different 
different values that this MRI contains. So if you would be able to see, uh, there is L, F, and B, and with L, F, and B, we have uh, different values associated. And as you can see, there is written zero on within the brackets it parenthesis it basically shows us the value of the label so for example when i'm hovering over this background region and even the brain region because we are working on tumor segmentation uh, we um uh, what we do is when we are labeling the software assigns the value zero to all the regions that are not tumor itself right so which is why uh, if I hover my mouse over the background area or even the brain area, I'll have the value zero. But when I move towards the tumor region, so for example, I'm moving towards this yellow area. When I simply hover over it, you can see the zero changes to two. It shows that the tumor value for this specific tumor is two. If I move to the uh, blue region, as you can see, the value would change and it would become 4. Similarly, if I click, uh, go or hover towards the green region, it will show me the value of 1. It means that the green tumor is assigned the value of 1, blue is assigned the value of 4, and yellow is assigned the value of 2 and the background region is assigned zero. This becomes very helpful because in this data set, uh, label number three is missing. So when we are doing uh, coding and performing segmentation, we need to make sure that we address that point because when we are working with labels, we have to make sure that label, uh, label one indicates one tumor, two indicates another, three indicates another. So to simply visualize it, you can use this tool and this uh, window on the bottom left will provide you with the information about what label is actually assigned to that tumor. So uh, once we are done with this information, finally, I also want to visualize this tumor region over within the sprint region in 3D form as well, as you can see. So simply uh, for this, I'm simply going to go on this uh, volume rendering option again. Once I'm here, I'm going to select this segmentation for now. Once I'm done with it, I am simply going to click on this I button. And as you can see, it has provided me with the tumor segmentation mask within the brain region. I am moving it in this form and it is providing me with this uh, 3D view as well. So in this tutorial, we have seen how we can input the data, overlay a tumor mask, visualize the tumor mask in different ways, and then also volume render it and see how we can uh, look at the tumor mask in 3D form. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.